Hi, Tawana Carter here, and I am an anxiety and career coach. And I am here today just to share a few tips for you for when you're having that day. You know the day that I'm talking about. It is a day that you plan for, you are excited about, and nothing seems to be going right. You planned carefully, you had everything set up, and whether your presentation didn't load properly, a vendor didn't show up, someone else didn't show up, or you were actually in a, you know, in your metro and you couldn't get in time, you know, for your meeting, whatever is going on, your day is not going just quite the way you had planned it. Okay, so I've titled this one, you know, Princess, just pick up your freaking crown, put it on and fight on, okay? And so here are some tips. The first thing you need to do is understand this. When we're having those days, we tend to click over into our fight or flight mechanism, our fight or flight, or freeze, okay? And everything around us just looks like a mountain. Everything that you do just looks like a mountain. You know, it was a molehill when you started, but now it looks like a mountain, okay? So the first thing that I want you to understand is you are two minutes or 10 breaths away from turning off your flight or flight mechanism. Okay, what do you mean? If you take 10 deep breaths from the diaphragm, big breaths in through the nose and mouth and nose and mouth, fill up your diaphragm, slowly let it out, let it out. Two minutes or 10 deep breaths like this and you will trigger your vagus nervous system and it turns off your flight or flight mechanism. Yeah, you heard me right. Two minutes to turn off their flight or flight mechanism. Why is it important? When you're in fight or flight mode, you can only access emotions, okay? Just emotions, fear, anxiety, anger, okay? Despair, depression, some people humor, Whatever emotion is there, you latch on to it, and that's how you face your day is by that emotion. Okay. But, and I call mine a switch. When you turn off your fight or flight switch, you can access emotion. You, I'm sorry, you come out of accessing emotions, you can access the logic part of your brain. When you are able to do that, then you can think. Okay. Okay. So the vendor didn't show up. Where is he? What's going on? What can I do in spite of? All right, so the presenter is short, you know, is late rather. What can I do to do that? It allows you to problem solve and do critical thinking. What's next? Okay, and that's the second part of this is once you turn off that fight or flight mechanism, then you think and take action, whatever action it is to get you out of that stream. Okay, when I say stream, what do I mean? It's shifting your energy stream. We all give off energy. Everybody does, okay? And some of us, when we go into the office, it's a negative energy in that office. And you walk in, and if you jump into the stream, then you're in the stream of negative energy. But you don't have to do that. When you turn off your fight or flight mechanism, then you can shift your energy stream. And you make a decisive movement to say, I'm out of that energy stream. I'm into my own. I am cool. I'm calm. And I'm taking decisive action. You take one small action. So all your actions don't have to be these gargantuan huge steps. You want to take the smallest action because that action will lead to another action. And that action will lead to another action. And that one will lead to another and then another. And the next thing you know, you have your own positive stream of action. That is what you want, okay? Be careful about having your first action, calling somebody up to commiserate. The danger in that is this. When we call up people and sometimes we cry and we get, oh, it's just the most horrible day and I don't know what happened. And da 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 What can happen is we can just feel good about getting it off our chest, but we don't take action. Sometimes that feel good by getting off your chest and talking to somebody else, we stay right there. Then the feel good is surrounding that I was upset or things didn't go right. The feel good is not coming in because I took action and I got out of it. So I'm not saying don't talk to anybody else. 
I'm saying that make sure you're taking action, action to fix what you need, okay? Because princess, again, you can pick up that crown, Velcro that thing on so you can jump in the fight and fight on, okay? Just commiserating with a friend or somebody you trust is not necessarily taking action. Action is what did you do to move on? And then the next small step, like I said, get into that positive energy flow, okay? Now, I will say this, is especially if you're in an office, and the office is kind of negative. There's a lot of negative energy there. You might need more than one strategy. For instance, in addition to my deep breathing, I have playlists on YouTube. And I have different playlists. For instance, if I have a lot of deadlines and they're coming up, and I can get to the point where it's like I'm going to freak out and get nothing done. I have a playlist on YouTube that is for multiple deadlines that I got to do. I put that playlist on. I put the earpiece in. And that's what I listen to. Okay. So in addition to deep breathing, I'm listening to that music. And typically it is something very upbeat. It's some kind of song that's like, bam, get in there and we can do this. We can make this happen. Okay. If part of the, the issue is the negative coworkers around me and their negative energy and I need to stay out of that stream of energy, that's a different playlist, okay? And so one of the teams that I provide service to, almost everybody on the team is negative. I don't care what day of the week it is. It can be payday. Like tomorrow's a four-day weekend and they're still negative. They're all negative. So I have a playlist, especially for that team. Okay. And so when I know I'm going into a meeting with that team, I listen to that playlist. In addition to my deep breathing, I listen to that playlist. And I tell you what's funny is, um, you know, it's one of those days at work where everything was popping off and everybody was all up in arms. And so we called a quick meeting to discuss some things. And of course I got there early because this helps, you know, me maintain my, my, you know, my anxiety at a, you know, low level so I can still act and do what I need to do. So I got there early and, and one guy came in early and, you know, everything was popping off and he looked at me and said, I don't care what happens. You are always calm. Everybody can be off and they're yelling and they're screaming. They're doing this. And I'll look over at you and you're just sitting there with this calm air about you. Like, okay, what do we need to do to make it happen and move on? He's like, I never understood that. And I was like, yes, it works. Okay. And I didn't, I didn't tell him at the time, but you know, I've taken my deep breaths. I will be sitting in a meeting when people are going off like that and I'm doing my deep breaths and nobody knows, nobody has an idea. And before I got to the beat, I listened to that special playlist. These are the things that you can do to control your energy. And I'm very careful and I closely guard my energy. Okay, my energy stream to make sure there's a positive energy flow that I don't pick up the negative energy around me so I can do what I need to do. Okay. And the other thing that I need that I also do after I come through this is, is when I get to that space, I do self-care. I make sure I do self-care. And it just depends, you know, if I'm having a long day and I had that day early in the morning, I will take my lunch break and try to walk, you know, grab something on the way where I can eat and walk. Um, some days I just get up and walk away. If it's a 15-minute break, 10, 15-minute break, you know, my building like takes up a block so I can literally walk around my building for 10 to 15 minutes. And it's, yeah, close to half, you know, half a mile, what have you. And just take that time to just, you know, do introspection, do my deep breathing and clear that space. And that's important. So number one, if you're having that kind of day, it's like the day from hell and nothing seems to be going right. You do need to take a step back. Okay. 10 breaths or two minutes of deep breathing to turn off your flight or flight mechanism. Okay. Shift your energy flow. You know, now that you can think logical and make decisions, okay, access that part of your brain, what's going on and what action do you need to take to make it happen? Be careful about commiserating with friends because it feels good to share the misery, but you need to take action, not just share your misery. You need to take action because one small action begets another small action, which is like a domino effect. And then the next thing you know, all the dominoes are falling because you're in a positive energy stream. And then after that, as soon as you can, 
do something self-care. Now, I love my manis and my petties. I can't get them every day. I love my massages. I can't get them every day. So sometimes self-care is nothing more than eating a good meal, taking that 20, 30 minutes to eat a good meal, taking a break from your desk, walking around for five or 10 minutes. Sometimes it's popping in the music one from one of your playlists. And I'm a, I'm a water person, so I love ocean waves and babbling brooks. And sometimes it's nothing more than bringing that up on YouTube and listening to it and taking a breath, stepping away from your desk, getting away from it. Whatever your self-care is that you do, that's what you do. So that is my truth for you today of how when you're having that day to pick up your crown, bell cord on and fight on. Thanks for watching. And let me say this, I understand that if you need a little support in getting this done, just click my calendar link and schedule something that's um, convenient for you. And we can talk about a support plan of how to shift your energy. Thanks for watching and I will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.